I am The Dollar Sportsman. Thank you for joining me this beautiful morning. I, um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the recommendations that I have about some of the things that are going on in the world. Now, I'm not going to get into those. Uh, that's a topic for a different time. But for you specifically, I want you to be prepared. And so as part of my channel, I sometimes do firearms training. I do uh, preparedness training and whatnot, and I will probably be doing a little bit more of that just so that I can bring this to my viewers so that they have good recommendations on things to do, training that they can perform, uh, all of that jazz, including some equipment. So today I have brought you a nice little piece of gear that's inexpensive for you specifically, and I want to show it to you. All right, so let's talk holsters. I've got myself a Concealment Express in the waistband holster on me right now. If I lift up, you can see here it is. This is a trainer pistol, by the way. This is the MP40 replica by Umarex. I, uh, I teach students with this, so that's what I've got in here right now. But this holster is really awesome. It fits very well. I've got it specifically for the MP, but it comes in all sorts of different models and designs for what you need. Uh, I am a big believer in concealment with carry. Um, not a big proponent of outside the waistband carry where everyone can see it, at least. When it's concealed, that's fine. The reason why is because when someone can see that you have a pistol, you yourself become a target. Now, I know there's a lot of debate on that. There's the rights, the right to carry. And I get that and I completely respect it. But when you are in a situation where you don't want to be seen, <laughs> You want to be as concealed and as um, unassuming, I guess I should say, as possible. So an in the waistband holster is an excellent way to do that. You can see I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Uh, it kind of like drops, droops all around me. You don't really know if I'm carrying something or not. Those of you who know and pay attention probably do because you're used to looking for it, right? But this, I can be ready to go. I am actually left-handed. I'm doing all this right-handed because most of my students are right-handed. So I have this set up right-handed right now, but you can see if I'm just walking around, you know, my shirt's just kind of sagging there and then I can go and be ready to go at a moment's notice. Now, this holster is nice because it is not only comfortable, but it is completely ambidextrous, this particular model. For the M&Ps, uh, it is. The sweat guard comes all the way up the firearm on both sides. And the reason why I got it that way is so that I can switch this to left-handed when I want to carry it. Uh, it's completely maneuverable and customizable. You can make this hook further up or down. It has a little bit of cant. Um, you can move it. You can see it has somewhat of that ability so that you can get it to really fit well for yourself. I like it. It has a very strong grip on the gun. I feel like it's solid containment. So here's the deal. For me personally, I believe that you should be able to carry anywhere that you need to without anybody knowing it. And for that reason, I highly recommend holsters that have the ability to tuck in. This one right here does. If you have that capability or if you're in a place or a working environment where you need to have your shirt tucked in, this is an excellent option because you can fully tuck in and still be completely concealed. And I highly recommend that. So when it comes to holsters that you want, it's one, it's gotta be comfortable. Two, it has to be safe. You can see that this completely covers the trigger area and that is an absolute necessity. You cannot have a flimsy holster that's not gonna cover that trigger. Otherwise you could get a misfire at all the wrong places and at all the wrong times. It's not what you want. <laughs> so make sure that it covers that completely and that you can still get to it and draw when you need to and you're ready to go, okay? So those are extremely important. The other thing is you've got to be able to afford it. And this one is 37 bucks, which is phenomenal. I fully believe that you should be able to get a quality holster without having to spend an arm and a leg in your firstborn for it. Now there are some excellent holsters out there. One of the holsters that I also carry on a regular basis is the Urban Carry holsters because it is complete concealment. And I do appreciate that, but it is double the price. So, an affordable holster that you can get that's gonna do everything that you need. I really like this Concealment Express holster. And a special thank you to Concealment Express for sending this to me for review. As I have been messing around with it, I really like it. Um, the fact that it's so thin 
and it's so well done and it works so well for everything that I personally look for in a holster is phenomenal. I highly recommend them. And I think if you're looking for a good affordable holster that's gonna do everything that you need to, this is an excellent choice. So with that, I hope you guys are doing a lot of training right now. These replica pistols are phenomenal. You've seen me do this. Go check out my videos where I've done training with these things. This is an airsoft pistol. So it's not gonna hurt anything. It is uh, completely exactly like the real thing, except for the fact that it just used six millimeter BBs, which aren't gonna hurt anyone as long as you're wearing eye protection, okay? You can get this, uh, train with it. You can train in your house. That's why I'm doing this video in my home right now because I feel completely confident and comfortable using this in my home because I know that everything is gonna be safe. I really am grateful that there are companies like Umarex that makes these replicas that you can train with. And I would highly recommend that you get a good holster to train with, such as this, so that you can train like you actually carry. It's important. We don't just train at ranges, guys. We gotta train in situations where we're going to find ourselves. So, get yourself an ability to do that. I can train in my home. I can practice clearing my home. I can train at private property uh, within my city limits because there are no laws against airsoft within my municipality. You gotta check those laws and make sure that yours is good too. But definitely do it. Now, more than ever, we see the need to have good, solid training so that rather than our minds going to nothing or going to panic, we go to training mode and we are prepared and we are safe. I hope you guys are prepared and safe. I'm the Dollar Sportsman. Let me know what sort of training you specifically need and I'll see if I can fulfill it for you. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and share. I hope you guys are being so safe out there, man. I know it's nuts, but you are okay, all right? Remember that. You are enough, you're okay, you're awesome. Remember that. I'll see you guys next time. That's pretty comfortable. Let's give it a shot or two or 60. We're in buck territory. Yes! <laughs> I'm the dollar sportsman. Yes, I'm the dollar sportsman. I'm the dollar sportsman. Having fun out here. I just enjoy all of this. Because after watching these videos, I hope you do. Yeah, buddy.